Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. So, first of all, thanks to all of you guys and your support for uh, those comments and the likes on the previous video. This channel is still need your help, so please keep commenting, adding likes, and do not forget to share to help out. Uh, taking off this penalty from the channel. So thanks a lot once again, and let's get started. Uh, as usual, we are looking at the Dixie. We are on the daily time frame, And as you saw last week, we've been talking about this previous high. That's going to be an important level to break, but the market failed to break above it. And we've got <clears throat> rejection from that area. And also we've got a uh, on Friday, a huge bearish uh, candle that broke below the neckline here. So uh, if we go down to the four hour time frame, we see it clearly here how things were slowing down after this first impulse. We've got a second impulse and then things start slowing down, giving us a divergence on the RSI. So it will, the signs of uh, reversal was all there. And then we've got this uh, nice impulse with a correction and then a break of that correction and continuation even below this low. So now we've got a reversal here. And if we look left here, there is not much on the way to hold this uh, as a support. So what I'm watching once again is the 92 area down here. This is going to be uh, yet again the key level of support on the dollar. So my anticipation for next week here that after this uh, impulse and the correction, we've got another impulse. So it could be time for another correction, maybe a retest toward this broken area and then continuation to the downside. I'm not seeing a reason for uh, the bears to give up this move here yet until they start reaching some structure levels, at least this area down here or yet again at around 92 down here. Let me put the 92 level in place. Uh, there we go. Somewhere here or here's the 92 area. And we know sin, uh, since before that this level is a key area because it's been acting as a good support and resistance previously. And if we go further back, we still see how important that 92 area is. So yeah, that's why I'm eyeing this level as a potential target on the Dixie for next week. Gold did uh, also um, the expected. So we've been talking about uh, that if we break this level, next target gonna be this. And if this got broken, next target gonna be this. All those uh, targets um, are done already. And the market gave us a nice push back up and did enter back above these areas. So since that happened and we have a break back above this important level uh, with a nice momentum to the upside, uh, we should be looking now for a little bit of a correction maybe a retest of the stru broken structure and one more leg to the upside at least. So a retest of this broken structure is on the way because we have the same reason here. If we look left on gold, there is not much of um, support. Yeah, it is an empty area here. Uh, 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 sorry, there is not much resistance until we reach this level up here. So I'm expecting at least a continuation toward this area before we start seeing slowdown. Or if we get a retest to this broken structure, you look for a buy signal here and then a continuation to the upside. That's my uh, plan for gold next week. Oil um, still um, making lower highs and lower lows. Um, the key area is still at around the 65 down here. This is the key support. But if we look at this chart now, we still have a lower high, lower low, another lower high. And then there was no lower low here but we do have this lower high on this leg. So it is still a little bit um, 
of a trouble here for the bulls um, so next week where the price is right now gonna be an important level because I want to know if this was the impulse this is the correction and we're gonna get one more leg like this or if it was a failed new high and then another move towards 65 so it is a little bit tricky I would say the best is to go down to the one hour time frame and see what's going on on that time frame next week because as I said this area here is um, a good level for now as um, good minor support because it's been acting as both a support and resistance previously we see that we had some test at this levels so we will see if this will hold if they fail to break below here we might get a return back toward the 70 areas but if they fail to to hold it then there is not much on the way first target gonna be uh, down here at around the uh, 66.75 uh, or all the way back toward 65 down here okay that's uh, what i'm uh, eyeing for this market EURUSD, nice bullish uh, move uh, on uh, Friday last week, did go um, very strongly after the retest of this area, so the level got tagged, it got followed by a uh, bullish engulfing, oops, bullish engulfing candle down here, you see this candle, an inside bar after that, and then boom, Friday was a very strong move, so this market did enter back above this uh, support level, which means potentially we might see further upside. So after this impulse correction, another impulse, it is time now to look for yet another correction and maybe one more leg to the upside. Looking left, there is not much uh, of resistance here. This whole area is pretty empty until we reach this level up here or start looking at these areas up here as potential targets. But I think if you are long, you could target this area as first. Uh, but expect a little bit of a correction next week yeah you never get just one impulse and the market keep going like this you need to have uh, some corrections something that we had here maybe another bullish flag like this and then a breakout and continuation that's what i'm watching for this market or if it give me a deeper correction back down that would also be a good scenario to play Sterling also um, a nice V-shaped formation as usual. You get a strong move, it get um, corrected with another strong move and then double bottom and it got corrected all the way back up. So uh, Sterling also looking uh, good after an impulse. If this would be the end of the correction, that means we have one more impulse to come. The good thing about it is Wednesday we've got a nice bullish engulfing candle then the bears failed totally to continue lower and on Friday we've got yet another bullish engulfing candle so uh, the bulls are um, pushing uh, strongly um, and uh, if uh, next week we see that this uh, correction is broken and uh, the channel is uh, like broken uh, on this market then I'm expecting further upside. So right now, it is not the strongest break. I want to see at least a break above this previous high, yeah? So if that would be the case with a break above this previous high, we look for retest and continuation all the way to the top. This will confirm that this is now a, this here would be the correction and then continuation. We have the impulse. We will see if this is the correction and then one more leg to the upside this is what i'm watching for the sterling next week usd jappy also a strong move to the downside on friday after making a top here and um, after giving us a hidden bearish divergence as well on the rsi all the signs were was there we've got a reversal candle we've got a doji candle after that and if we go down to the four hour time frame you see it nice and clear here impulse correction here and then boom a break below the correction and there was not much to hold this market it kept pushing lower so for next week same here it is now time for a little bit of a correction to the upside so as you see here uh, the move is pretty extended and it is time for a little bit of correction let it correct and then look to see if you're gonna get one more leg to the downside um, as explained 
USD chief, also same scenario. We talked about this level. I marked this level for a reason, yeah, as you see here. Uh, and, and as I said, if they fail to break above this area, expect a little bit of a uh, reversal here to the downside because we said if they break higher, look for retest and continuation toward next target. But what happened was a, a failure here, a failure here, double top, broken neckline, and if you look left here, there's not much to hold this market. Yeah, so next uh, trouble area going to be uh, down here. Since we had a little bit of a structure going back here, here and here and a little bit of a structure down here. If these um, levels now going to be the, the area of um, interest for the bulls we might get our correction happening from there so you see next week you might see a little bit further downside to then start looking for a correction to start happening from this area so again guys you never get impulse without a correction and then one more impulse so that's what i'm watching to see how the correction will be is it a big correction as we had after this impulse or just a shallow one like this and then one more leg to the downside that is the difference here are we gonna get a bigger correction or a smaller uh, a, a minor correction uh, USD CAD not much here still going choppy um, and um, yeah if we check the last leg only this area here uh, what is it telling us impulse correction impulse this is also a correction because they never broke above previous high there was no break above this important area so i'm still seeing this whole thing one leg and this is the correction of that and maybe one more to the downside is possible especially if we go down to the four hour time frame you see it here clearly that the, the bearish momentum is strong correction another impulse correction fail to break higher start to rotating like this and we might see further downside and if they break below this area next week so you see us something like this look for retest and then continuation toward this bottom here and um, on usd cat also usd is still inside the range not much is happening here still uh, the same plan buy low sell high wait for the breakout and um, you see here how long we stayed inside the range and the same is happening one once again so this need to be played on like one hour and 15 minute time frame maybe each time you reach the bottom of the channel you start looking for bullish evidence and each time you reach the top of the channel you look for bearish evidence for reversals from the edges of the range nothing else to do until you see it breaking strongly above we look for retest and then continuation or breaking below and then we look for retest and continuation <clears throat> New Zealand USD same also here they mimicking each other's uh, it is still inside the range uh, the lows are getting higher but we are not getting a higher highs either so uh, it is now start looking like a rounded bottom but all in all you're still inside this range go down to a lower time frame four hour one hour time frame maybe and play this range each time you reach the top of the range you could look for reversal like we had here back here and back here and each time you reach the bottom of the range you look for these moves once again to the upside okay pretty straightforward a little bit boring uh, analysis but that's uh, what we have for now it is a ranging market and we should adapt and trade ranging markets if you are a trend follower then this is not a market for you to trade go look for something that is tr trending instead and uh, trade that market so um, yeah that was it for this week guys thanks a lot do not forget to add a comment add a like and do not forget to share the video thanks a lot and see you next sunday bye bye